Hey, this is Tom Anderson with Novent Technologies. Some of you might know me as Tom Novent on Novent's message boards. So today I'm going to be doing a video overview of Feeling It Accelerate. Accelerate is one of Novent's biggest games to come out so far. It's uh, one of the games I'm most excited about. It. Accelerate is an ultra-realistic racing game. In it you have 35 modern day rally cars, it's got amazing physics, it's got great graphics, about 70 races across the world, and it's got multiplayer support. Most importantly though, Accelerate is the first game ever that you can use the Falcon to feel everything that happens in the car. In this video overview, I'm going to take you through what it feels like to use the Falcon, features that I like in the game, and then I'll take you through a race in the game and the best way to win it. Alright, let's start with acceleration. Here you can see a car accelerating down the test track and shifting through its gears. You can actually feel those accelerations with the Falcon. So you can see here the Falcon is pushing with your hand with each gear shift and with each acceleration. It actually begins to feel like you're in the car feeling everything while you're playing it. You can actually feel the braking too in the opposite direction. Next is turning and drifting. You feel compelling forces as you slide sideways over surfaces. So here the car does a 360 so the forces shift from left to right. With the Falcon you distinctly feel those right left drifting forces. I'm holding on to the Falcon lightly and you can see the forces shift from right to left as I do the 360. Next is terrain and crashes. So here you can see the car go over this rough terrain as it cuts a corner and it smashes into a boulder. With the Falcon you can feel every bump and jiggle in the road. You can feel all the different rough terrain. You can see how rough it jiggles your hand and then when you smash into the rock it gives you a big hit. Next we're going to take a tumble off a cliff, a little rough, you hit the edges, then smash down into the bottom. With the Falcon you see all the rough hits all the way down to the bottom and then a big impact at the end. There's a lot of things I like about Accelerate. Accelerate has great graphics, a lot of different terrains, over 70 races. It has excellent physics, got excellent collisions, it's got uh, great car damage and you can see when parts of your car actually fall off. The multiplayer support is an absolute blast. Overall, Accelerate is one of the most addictive and compelling games I've ever played. Finally in this overview, I'll take you through the first race in the game. So to start the game, you first create a profile, enter your name, you hit OK. Normally you can go into a single race and get used to some of the courses and cars. We're going to go into the rally championship now. So first off, you buy a car, get the cheapest car available. It's a good car, you can win the first four races with it. Make some money to buy a better car. There she is. Alright, so to start, what we're going to do is go backwards just a little bit. That lets the ghost car get in front of us so I can show you where to make up time throughout this track. This race in general is a good one to learn, to earn cash, to buy new cars throughout the different races. Alright, so as you start going, you feel each plank on the bridge with the fountain. It really feels pretty realistic. Now this first corner is a good one to cut. And that in general shows you what you can do in these races. You know, the cutting corners, finding the right paths, lets you really make up time on the ghost car. Alright, so we slow down, let him get in front of us again. Alright, these next corners you want to drift around. This feels amazing with the Falcon. You feel this sideways force and you got to balance it just right with the, how hard you're pushing against the Falcon. It really lets you learn the feel of the car, the feel of the roads. Um, you know, drifting in general is one of the funnest parts of the game. With the Falcon, you're feeling all the forces if you were in the car. You feel acceleration as if it's pushing you back into your seat. You feel a huge jolt if you smash into something. You feel the sideways drifting forces. You feel upward forces if for bumps and terrains. You know, it's very realistic. This next set of corners are a couple of my favorites. You gotta keep the car sliding just a bit sideways for a long time throughout these corners. And you feel the sweet spot in the Falcon's controls to keep you on track, you know, turning just the right amount. So then you come into this really sharp corner here. You gotta make sure to break, that's an important part of it. And then what you wanna do is gun it and keep it turned just a little bit so you're kinda sliding around. So that corner takes a lot of practice, but with some practice you get used to it. And you can see there we made up two seconds just on that corner. Okay, there's two corners coming up ahead that feel just awesome when you hit them just right. So your navigator is going to say 50 four right cut. So what that means is that in 50 yards there's going to be a four right, which is a relatively tight corner, and he says to cut. So he says to cut, you want to cut inside and take a, a cut across the corner. So here you slide across it, you feel the sideways forces line up, the bumps, you know, everything feels just right as you hit that just right. You feel when you hit those posts there. Alright, we have a little more to catch up. This corner is one of my favorites. It just feels awesome as you slide across in front of that telephone pole there. Alright, these three corners, you can cut all three of them. 
to basically just go straight instead of an S. Make up some good time there. Make sure to hit the checkpoint. Alright, right up here we're going to stop. Let him get in front of us again. Alright. Okay, the next couple corners you want to maintain kind of a constant smooth slide. Again, you'll feel the sweet spot in the Falcon as you're pushing it to the side. And you can feel when you're making it turn just the right amount to keep you on the track. You know, it really feels nice. Alright, this corner to the right, he doesn't take that well. And so uh, you can make up some good time on that corner. Alright, a little bit behind him now. This next corner, I cut it just a little bit too late, and so you see I kind of go off to the side a little bit. You can make up a little bit of time if you hit that corner right. Just like any racing game, you know, timing is important. And this is a good corner to cut, make up some good time here. You can make up a little bit of time on this corner, feel the sliding forces, feels nice. Come up here. Now up here I can pass him, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to ease off just a little bit. Let him be just a little bit in front of me going into the straightaway. Alright, so I ease up a little bit. Alright, he's in front of me. Alright, so normally if he's right in front of you, you can overtake him. If he's pretty far ahead of you, you won't be able to take him on this last corner because uh, he takes it pretty well. Uh, but if he's this far in front of you, you'll be able to pass him. So what you got to do is you got to hit this ridge just right. So cut it right there. There you go. And then you feel yourself come over the bump, hit the road, you know, the downward force, and then uh, hit the straightaway, and then win the race. There you go.